One of the key things we discussed as we implemented Capado and built a business case for buying Capado was we wanted to evaluate what was our total cost of a production incident. What we worked out is with the number of people in the park and the number of meetings that was being had and then the amount of effort to redeploy, retest, fix things, um, we came up with an arbitrary figure of £10,000 per production incident. So then if it was a case of how much does Capado cost that we can reduce the production incidents, it, it became a very easy sell to our business. My name is Paul Aylott. I am Head of CRM and Client Data for Aberdeen's Investment Area. We are a global business. We have offices all the way from Australia to Brazil and America. So having a single source of client truth is absolutely pivotal for us. Historically, um, the, the team very much wanted to embrace Agile, but they didn't quite have all the, the skills to hand to do that. That led to very much a hybrid agile and waterfall approach and deploying using change sets. But the impact of that was we suddenly had a lot of production incidents. And fundamentally, we didn't have everyone working together as a collegiate team. But we're either struggling to develop the change that the business wants, or we can't really keep up with the business change, or we make the business change and it magically disappears again. Obviously, that's not what you want. You want to be able to have confidence in what you deliver and know that it's going to stick. Everyone was definitely keen to move in the same direction. One thing Capado has enabled for us is, is the ability to allow members of the business and our business analysts within my team to actually get hands on with some Salesforce configuration. So let's move a field over here. Let's change a pick list. Let's rearrange a lightning page. All of that sort of thing always ended up at the bottom of the queue for our developers and our ability to attack the backlog from both angles has helped us move towards that point. We have visibility very early in the process of if we deploy something, is something going to break? It gives us confidence as we move up that we are or not breaking something. So from the customer's point of view, they get the incremental improvement. From our point of view, if we're not infallible and we do make a mistake, we're able to catch it before it input impacts any of our users. By making sure we had the right people in the right jobs, by having a good agile process, automated testing and using Capado for delivery, we increased our delivery speed by 800%, going from 16 points accepted by the business up to around about 130. And si since that time that we have made that change, we have maintained the ability to deliver 20 to 30 changes every two weeks to add business value. Being able to reduce the number of production incidents and have confidence in our pipeline has obviously led to getting people back to where we want them to be working, their regularly scheduled hours. So for me, one of the key parts of designing our process has been making sure that when we have our cutoffs so for development and testing in UAT that they are, you know, midday, not 5 p.m. So that we can have confidence that we can say to every colleague in the team, guys, job's done today, stand down, go put your feet up.